I mentioned in one of my other videos that I'm going to set up a video TV station here in the office because I have access to more HD TV over the air video signals in town and I wanted to test this setup and setting up a little mini TV station here to transmit to some vintage televisions which no longer work because the government and businesses no longer broadcast standard analog television signals over the air and instead they are mandated by the government to produce video signals in HD TV format so the old televisions as you know no longer works uh, no longer work on the old uh, analog signals because they're no longer available in the US so this setup here allows me to to capture the HD TV signals that are all over there's 50 of them here in Winston I mean 50 available here in the Winston-Salem area there are probably a 150 mile radius um, and this box is a HD TV converter box which takes the antenna signal from the air and converts it to a composite video signal video and audio it will also accept a USB video file like an MP4 or an MPG video movie and you can plug it in the front here and it will send it through the device and out the composite ports into like a, a TV a monitor or TV monitor or whatever. But what I've done here is I've purchased a, a digital modulator and this takes this composite video signal from this tuner. This is a tuner. It has a remote control somewhere around here and it takes the TV stations that it has found here in the area and puts them into this modulator which is a little mini TV station. It puts out about 100 milliwatts which is a legal limit, 130 something like that. And you can tune it whatever channel you want, VHF or UHF. If you remember your old TVs, they had a big knob for VHF and a big knob for UHF and you could tune all kinds of channels depending upon what the TV stations would broadcast. Well I just randomly selected a VHF channel 8 because there's nothing here locally broadcasting on that frequency and the video signal comes in here from the air comes into here it's converted and modulated to RF out goes out the uh, cable here and goes into a little whip antenna that I've, I've laid down here on the desk. So this is producing 130 or 120 milliwatts of TV, old analog TV signal on channel eight. So if I tune my television to channel eight, I should be able to pick up whatever this is receiving. And then I have a remote control that lets me select Here's the remote. It lets me select those 50 whatever channel, uh, channels that it has scanned and picked up. So get all the local HDTV channels on this device, and then I channel. I can go up and down and adjust the volume, um, which is broadcasted on this little miniature TV station. So let me run over here to the actual television and. We'll see what's currently playing is Gunsmoke. Well, it's just too bad Jim Dobie had to be there, that's all. And, um, turn it a little bit better. So, on this little Panasonic, which is an old 1984, 1984, television which no longer works unless you have this kind of a setup it's tuned to channel 8 and it's picking up this channel uh, over the air there's no cable connected to it it's running on batteries as you can see nothing connected to it it's just bringing the station in over the air 
and uh, doing a fine job, I might add. So that's the setup. And then, of course, like I said, I can uh, take the remote control, point it to the, uh, the tuner over there, and just change the channels and pick different channels um, and watch at different channels. We turn the volume back up. And there are repeat channels, and some are weaker than others. Now keep in mind, this particular setup, I'm not even using an HD TV antenna. I'm using a set of rabbit ears, which are not tuned to the HD signals. But they're, the signals are strong enough in the city here that that old-fashioned rabbit ear is actually picking up those signals and sending it into the um, converter. If I had a, an HD antenna, HD TV antenna, I could put it on the window, stick it to the window and run the cable around, and it would pull in a lot more channels and they would be uh, rock solid. So that's the setup. If you're interested, uh, let me know, Give, uh, leave me a message in the uh, comment section, and I can send you the particulars on uh, this setup. This is a $29 box that you can get on uh, eBay, and uh, this is available from China through eBay as well. And um, so nothing terribly expensive here. The only thing you need is an old-fashioned analog television at DePaz Distillery, to which is open to the public. Enjoy where you can try rum using old vintage Strictly televisions once again. Thank you for Martin's watching.